Hello and welcome to our latest edition of Tech Check where we bring you all the major developments from the world of tech. I'm Sahil Maniktala and we start things off with the ultra-fast Hyperloop which is one step closer to becoming a reality after its port traveled 192 miles per hour in its maiden journey. Hyperloop 1 set is prototype for the high-speed transportation system which could travel from London to Edinburgh in 50 minutes reach the speed on a 500 meter long track in Nevada desert in Las Vegas. The test marks the first time Hyperloop 1 has propelled one of its carriages along the tube as well as the fastest journey for the technology. The company completed its first uh, trial in May which involved a smaller trolley reaching a top speed of 70 miles per hour. This comes as a major step towards the development of the Hyperloop transport system that was first envisioned by Elon Musk in 2015. Well, first the Model 3 electric car and now the solar roof. In just one week, Tesla has challenged two different industries with two new products. Tesla completed the first installation of its solar roof products, which use integrated solar panels to gather energy. According to reports, just like the first Model 3 customers, the first solar roof customers are Tesla employees. Apparently, this approach allows the company to smooth the sales and installation processes ahead of a wider release to the public. Tesla estimates that its solar roof will be cheaper than regular tile roofs and will virtually pay for itself through electricity savings. The company is also offering a warranty for the lifetime of the house on which they're installed. Now you might want to take a good look at your iPhone covers because nearly 275,000 cases that contain glitter suspended in liquid are being recalled after reports of leakage that caused burns and skin irritation. A company called Mixbin Electronics sold the 40 cases designed for iPhone 6, 6S and 7 through Amazon and Victoria's Secret. Liquid and glitter can leak from the cases and there have been 24 reports worldwide of skin irritation or chemical burns including 19 in the US. In fact, one customer reported permanent scarring from a chemical burn while another reported chemical burns and swelling to her leg, face, neck, chest, upper body and hands. Customers are advised to immediately stop using the recall cases and contact Mixpin for a refund. You can also check if your phone case is affected at the company's website. Now it seems the Oculus uh, Rift might not be Facebook's only hardware product for much longer. The social network is currently developing a video chat device for use in the home. The product which could be announced next spring includes a large touch screen, wide angle camera, microphones and speakers. In concept this sounds very similar to the Echo Show that Amazon recently released to build out its lineup of home based hardware. Aside from the video conferencing device, uh, Facebook is also at work on a standalone speaker in the low $100 range. Clearly hinting that the company is growing tired of sitting it out as voice powered devices like the Echo and Google home rise in popularity. With Apple's HomePod uh, speaker scheduled for release later this year, Facebook will need to pick up the pace if it wishes to stay ahead of the competition. Facebook was also in the news this week for some other interesting reasons. It seems things got real when the company's two artificially intelligent robots appear to be chatting to each other in a strange language only they understood. Facebook uh, then had to shut down the robots because they basically invented their own language. Researchers at Facebook Artificial Intelligence Research built a chatbot earlier this year that was meant to learn how to negotiate by mimicking human trading and bartering. But when the social network paired two of the programs, nicknamed Alice and Bob, to trade against each other, they started to learn their own bizarre form of communication. The bizarre discussions came as Facebook challenged its uh, chatbots to try and negotiate with each other, attempting to swap hats, balls and books, each of which were given a certain value. But they quickly broke down as the robots appeared to chant at each other in a language that only they understood, but which appears mostly incomprehensible to humans. Now tech giants Amazon, Facebook and Google are about to start digging in for battle with the US lawmakers over a proposed bill aimed at curbing human trafficking by holding website owners liable for illegal content hosted by others. The proposed law is facing heavy criticism and opposition from Silicon Valley where the tech giants wish to stop human trafficking without having to subject themselves to lawsuits. The bill introduced by Senator 
Rob Portman accuses websites for classified ads called Backpage that allegedly facilitates child prostitution and sex trafficking. Portman said while introducing the legislation that the internet has revolutionized illegal sex trafficking and federal law simply has not kept pace. Not very pleased by the bill, the Internet Association, which represents many tech juggernauts including Amazon, Facebook and Google, opposed the bill by calling it overly broad and counterproductive in the fight to combat human trafficking. Now, BlackBerry, the once mighty Canadian smartphone brand that was popular with business executives, legal professionals, journalists and government officials is back and this time it's back with a physical QWERTY keyboard based phone. BlackBerry launched its Key One smartphone in India earlier this week and is priced at Rs 39,990. It will be exclusively available on Amazon India starting August 8th. With the Key One, BlackBerry has adopted an Android operating system in an attempt to stay relevant in the Indian smartphone market. According to reports, the India variant of BlackBerry Key One is slightly different from the international model and will be the first BlackBerry phone to feature dual SIM support. The phone will also pack 4 GB of RAM, run on Android 7.1 and will come with a non-removable 3505 mAh battery. And as far as the cameras are concerned, the BlackBerry Key One comes packed with a 12 megapixel primary camera on the rear and an 8 megapixel front shooter for selfies. Well, that's it for this edition of Tech Check, but we leave you with these really epic visuals from NASA's top secret flying program spanning over seven decades. Thank you for watching. on my mark in five, four, three,